Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well this morning I wanted to see how what kind of response I would get if I fire roll some gunpowder which is in here and the heads of these matches. I don't know what formula of sulfur that is. But let me go ahead and start cutting that off of there and I want to start off with a percussion test. Simply fold it over in the paper and hit it on this block see if it'll uh, see what kind of explosion we'll get with percussion and then we'll fire roll some of it so let's get started I think 10 matches ought to be enough Alright, let's hit it with a hammer and see what happens. Nothing. Well, at least it's at least it's good and uh, powderized for the fire roll. Let's try the fire roll. Well, I thought I'd get some kind of reaction when I hit it with a hammer. Kind of surprised. It compacted down instead of powderizing it it turned it into a flat pill if you will But when the heat of the fire roll gets to it, I'll bet it'll react. All right. And do we end up with a usable ember or a flame? No. Okay. Now let's try the gunpowder. Not sure how much to use. Yeah, I didn't want to use that much. Let's go ahead and use it. Can you see it? Now, how's that going to respond to percussion? Oh, it doesn't even respond to percussion.
Let's see if it packed down into a hard mass like this. No? No, it stayed. It stayed all wafer-like. So good. I'm not going to use that piece. Let's see if this one unrolls any better. Yeah, this one's unrolling better. Let's tighten up the roll a little bit. All right, now we'll subject it to, to some fire roll heat. Oh, it was just a poof. And do we have a usable ember though? No usable flame, we might have an ember. Nope. No usable ember or flame. Alright y'all. That's my mild explosives experiment. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.